Suddenly the desolation, the solitude became unendurable. And Ariel is the Earth suit in this um, deck, so it represents prosperity, it represents all things material. It says, you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. So with the five cards, it's all about um, some sort of challenge you're overcoming by changing your thinkings and behaviors. So it looks like the beginning of this week, it's up to you. Doreen Virtue. She is a world-class bullshit artist. Angel therapies, angel cards, angel books, and a variety of other merchandise. Because the universal energy is neutral, just like electricity that turns on this light. Anyone can flip the light on and off. You don't have to be specially trained. And everyone is shaping the universal energy through the words they use, without exception. It's so vague and nobody really knows what it's all about. And then actually look on her website and you'll find links to a so-called angel university. Higher learning at home. Mm. And you can do all sorts of higher learning. You can learn about mediumship. You can learn about angel therapy. And guess what? The mediumship course, it's only $400. Oh, and the Angel Therapy Practitioner's course? That's $1,000. So not merely contented to write books to help people, well, go forward with their own faith. She also makes massive profits by selling to her most devoted followers. I feel like, again, we had this last week where we were talking about your career, and this takes it to an even higher level this week. This week, this week the angels are saying, go for it. Stop complaining. Stop feeling like a victim. Stop saying that it's someone else's fault that you can't have your career. Stop saying you're blocked. Stop blaming the universe or the economy or whatever you're doing, and just make it happen. Right. It's hard to believe anyone takes any of this nonsense seriously. Um, this is about the gift of passion, opportunity, inspiration. And you, you are as weak and frightened as a quahon.